All right, let's do a message for Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Now you don't have to be a Virgo watching this. You can be anyone. If you were drawn to click on this video, there must be something here for you. All right, Virgo, I went ahead and wrote down what I was hearing for you. And the first word I heard was Camelot. Now maybe that means something specific for you, the viewer, I don't know. Maybe that's like an inward inside joke. I don't know what I'm gonna do with Camelot. But I also heard Tamala, Camelot, Tamala, or Camilla. I know Camelot also has links, you know, uh, King Arthur. But also someone's name could be Arthur or King could be specific. I also looked up Camelot and it said, Camelot symbolized idyllic happiness. So when you think of Camelot, it's like, everything I've ever wanted, right? It's exactly what I've wanted. It's everything I've ever wanted. My ideal, my idea of complete happiness. It also says that Camelot was the place of King Arthur's court and palace, and that no one knows if it actually existed or not, which made me think that um, something here is still a mystery, either about you or to you. So you could be watching a show. It could be as simple as you're watching a show and you just haven't finished it yet. Maybe the show is still ongoing, so you're waiting for the finale, final season, but maybe some of you it's a show that's already been off air, but you're watching it and you just haven't finished. So it could be that simple as something that, you know, is still a mystery. You don't quite know the ending yet. Maybe you're reading a book and you haven't finished the end of the book yet. Or maybe you've taken a test or you've you have something and you're waiting on the results from it, right now it's a mystery, you don't know. Some of you, this could be that there's an individual here that doesn't know where the connection is going with you. Or this could be reversed, but someone here doesn't know where, where it's going. But then I also get the vibe here of, it's like a fantasy, it's exactly what I wanted, you know, because I wrote down Camelot. For some of you, Virgo, this could be unspoken feelings. Either you have unspoken feelings, like you haven't quite said exactly what you feel, um, or this is another person who may be feeling something more for you, but they, they, they haven't told you for whatever reason, you know. Maybe you look happy and they don't want to mess with that, you know. Maybe how you're doing things and maybe you have your own life, you know, you're doing your own thing and you, again, you look happy. And so whoever this is that wants to tell you something, they want to tell you how they feel, they're like, well, I'm just gonna leave it alone, it's fine. They look happy, I don't wanna mess with them. It's not like me telling them this would matter anyway, you know, I'm just gonna keep it to myself. It could be somebody wanting to tell you they're in love with you, but they know like you're in a relationship maybe, or maybe they know you're unavailable, that you're not even open, you don't want it, you're not even interested in relationships, you don't even care about that anymore. Something like that, you know? Some of you, it could also be where you're like friends with someone, and let's say you're hearing this person talk about their love life or something and you may be either thinking or you could even say it out loud to them like you're a dumbass because with her you had it like it was literally Camelot she helped you grow she changed you she was willing to change herself or this could be he like you know there could be like a friend here that's kind of either thinking about their friend and their love life kind of like you had something good and you messed it up or maybe someone here has been harsh, uh, they have harshly judged another's relationship or lack of relationship and maybe they're having issues in their own. It could be something like that also. But So going back to the mystery for you guys, Virgo or Virgo cross watcher, something's a mystery here. It almost feels like there's a conversation that just it's lingering in the air. Yeah, it's lingering in the air or it hasn't happened yet. It hasn't, it's like we need communication. Somebody may feel like something's dragging out here. Like whatever it is, it's just dragging out. Maybe it's long periods between communicating, like long periods you don't hear from each other. Or um, maybe someone's like, why would we be friends now? You've been gone this long. Why all of a sudden now you want to reach back out for what? You know, it could be something like and I say that because I hear somebody dragging something up and down the driveway. I heard that right as I wrote communication, so it makes me feel like someone's dragging something out. All right, I'm getting something. This is not for everyone, but in Virgo's message here, now it may not be you, it could be a friend of yours, 
But someone here is interesting. Y'all will know where this resonates or if it does or doesn't at all. But have you ever felt like or who here feels like whoever they're with, they, they're afraid their partner would be with their friend or like their friend finds their friend attractive or they don't they never trusted this friend around or they wouldn't if it's not a friend it's a client or it's like I wouldn't want that person around because I would be afraid that you guys they would want you something like that like someone I'm getting here may keep a close eye on their partner you know just so they do not you know, stray. I don't know why I'm getting that. But anyway, that's that's definitely if someone's in a relationship here. But so since Camelot was the happiest place, you know, it's ideal for happiness. It's exactly what people wanted. It's where everyone hoped to move or be <laughs> or go, raise a family, whatever, you know. It's like, um, maybe some of you feel like, you know, I'm doing pretty good actually. I'm pretty comfortable in my life. I like where I am now compared to where I've come from. I like where I am. But maybe you feel like people around you are just trying to constantly tear you down or stop you. Like it's like they're just, it's their life's mission to just get in your way, slow you down. It's not even just one at this point, it's just everywhere, especially at the workplace. Some of you, it's like people just like to try you or they think that you're stupid and you're like, are you kidding me? You do know that I see this, right? But it's like, you know, you can't say anything because you're like, well, I'm thinking about my job and my business, my position, the money, but you know better, you know, and then just having to be around that all day, every day around fakeness, you know? Yeah. I feel like you could even know some people around you talk, they gossip, they snicker. They say little things, you know, underhandedly, or they think that you don't know they're over there talking about you. It's something like that I hear. <clears throat> I'm hearing salon. Salon. Something about salon, salon. Solange? Isn't that also like Beyonce's sister? Isn't Beyonce a Virgo? I don't know, there could be some drama between family too, like siblings, sisters. I don't know. That's so much coming out of theirs. That's just something I'm picking up on. But anyways, <laughs> maybe not theirs, but somebody's here. And it's kind of like, um, I don't know. There could be like little groups that come together against you or they've already done that and they had like their little their little times to talk and gossip or whatever. Now, even if you're a male, I see women doing this to you in the workplace or women doing this against you with other males. You know, it's like there's there's a female definitely involved in it somehow here that is like the gossip queen, king, like she just likes to start something and she can go between people here, but also there's a, there's a few males around you too and you can just feel like this is just constantly you know some of you also have a friend that you do not trust because you're afraid they're gonna sleep with your wife or your husband or somebody you may be like I just don't trust them you know I don't trust them Maybe you don't trust them because they have addictions or because they they don't control themselves because you know they like to sleep with married people you know they like to sleep with people who are you know what I mean like maybe it was fun back in the day this is not for everybody but maybe it was fun back in the day for some of you you know or you would you would have just kind of like you know whatever but now it's like no way i wouldn't want you to do that with my person you know yeah if you're in a relationship some of you need to watch some of your friends that are around your partner or something like i don't know i feel like you would already know that there's like somebody you don't trust it could even be in your own family but there's somebody here you don't like completely trust aside from that everything feels really good in your message i was getting happy you know this King Arthur, this, I feel like there's definitely a male here who is a strong speaker, a strong communicator. That's one of their favorite things to do is communicate, especially for a male. This is probably a male who's very good at communicating and he loves this. And uh, it could be someone here who is quite romantic, even like a knight in shining armor, you know? Maybe they're chivalrous and they could even have horses. I don't know, maybe they have something to do with horses or horsepower. Either like a very big vehicle or they actually have horses, land, 
they could um, have some sort of skill or trade. They could be very woodsy <laughs> for some. I'm just getting like a man. I'm hearing burly man or there's just like some sort of man here. Even if they're not all burly or whatever, but they definitely are good with their hands is what I'm hearing. They're, they're good with their hands. They're good at what they do. Touch is required is what I'm hearing. Damn, touch is required. Touch is important to this male. And this could be you, Virgo, or Virgo Crosswatcher. This could be someone who's coming towards you. This is a very intense male. But anyway, that's all I'm getting, guys. It's kind of fading out, but I love you so much. Thank you for being here, and I'll talk to you later.